We are all as golfers so concerned about hitting our irons well, about hitting our drivers well, that we skip and avoid and ignore one of the most important aspects of the game, which is hitting 50 to 75 yards chip. Please subscribe to the channel so you have more content available for you to help your game. Surprisingly, there's so many PGA Tour players as well who miss the green, but the difference is that they still make their pars because they know how to manage their yardages. We have Ahmed Zafar Hayat with us today, an NAIA coach from the US, to help us learn very, very simply how to hit these chips. Ahmed Bhai, can you please help thank, us? Thank you for having me. Uh, basically, Ishan, the thing is, uh, everybody uh, struggles with, with this 50 to 70 yard chip. Uh, basically, what we're going to do is we're going to teach them a, a clockwise uh, routine which will be helpful to every level of golfers depending on their uh, strengths and weaknesses okay so let's let's straight go to there so what we are going to do basically two steps first is how much we hit from nine to three and the second step is going up to eleven to three okay. so basically what this will do is I help you understand how much you need to swing in order to get your desired yardage lovely so let's let's start with a with a three to three to uh, sorry nine to three so just basically take and we're aiming for about 50, 50 yards, yards this, yes right? 50 yard steps it depends uh, on your own stance wider you know narrower whatever, whatever you're you, comfortable, you're comfortable with. with just just take your normal thing and just make sure that that you do a practice swing and make sure you are your hands are parallel to nine, to nine o'clock and going through to three o'clock so let's 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 try this and hopefully it will help you. That's perfectly 50. <laughs> yeah. So so you see, it's it's an easier way of doing it rather than trying some other yeah. uh, uh, things in order to get your so, your... so 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 find your club that you're comfortable with chipping with. Go nine yeah. to parallel to your hands and go three, three yeah. yes. parallel to your yes. hands. Basically, when you finish at three, it'll it'll make make your follow through complete. Complete. Yeah. It'll aim to your target. So that's our aim. And I think every single time you make a 9 to 3 swing, it will be 50, be 50 yards, yards or 60 regardless. yards depending on your, your capability. I can't imagine having that control. It'd be so <laughs> nice to just no, always be able to hit because these this chips. Is, this, is, this is the bread and butter shot for all the PGA yeah. Tour players and everybody, that's true. even the amateurs that's true. Who, are, who have control on this shot. That's true. It's a, a, they, they play amazingly uh, good true. golf. So one is 9 to 3, we did that. Yeah. Now let's, let's move on to the uh, 11. To three and what and yardage are you looking it's for? It's probably about 70 75 yards, okay. depending on, on your own uh, okay. desire. Same wider or narrow stance does not matter, it's it's on your own uh, uh, control. So, here we go. Let's see. Yeah, so That's it's perfectly 70 75, 75 <laughs> yards. Yes, and it's, it's it's you'll get more consistent in hitting this yeah. if you keep on practicing it. So, I hope this drill will uh, will help you. Uh, in understanding so you've made this concept. very simple for us. You're saying the stance doesn't matter, the grip doesn't matter, your uh, so wedge shaft doesn't matter because I've seen all of these tips and they've confused me in the past. Mm. You're saying just stand however you already stand, mm. holding the same grip. Just have this one technique of nine to three, three yeah. or, or eleven, 11 to, to three, three for a fifty and 70, 70. seventy-five yard chip. Yeah, yeah, and all depending on your ability. Yeah, you know you might might hit longer than that on that it's it's up to you but so you find your distance yes find your distance and it's it's very easy to do that and i think once once i remember when i did this initially once you have your 50 whatever 9 to 3 or 11 to mm -hmm. 3 mm -hmm. then if you're hitting a 30 yard chip or a 90 yard chip you can sort of accordingly manage, manage. That, okay so 9 to 3 is 50 then maybe let's go 7 to seven 3, to three yeah. for 30 yeah yeah and i think yeah. that clockwork really helps Help. kind of get that yardages you mentally get get satisfied yeah because you understand that you don't have to hit it hard you go over exactly. 11 and hit 50 yards it's just your comfortable zone if it's 9 to 3 or it's 11 to 3 it's all on you so hopefully when you do this couple of times on the yes. practice range i think it will be a it will be a good exactly. exercise and that have should be a good guide for us yeah guys you've heard it directly from Ahmed Zafar Hayat a very simple way to manage your 50 to 75 yard chips and accordingly other distances between 100 yards as well. Ahmed Bhai, thank you so thank much. You. I thank hope you. it helps you all. Thank you.